A good afternoon, dear friends. Today we have we will have a meeting with His Holiness Parkev Archbishop Marty Rosian. As usual, our uh, His Holiness will uh, present the situation, and his speech will be a message and a blessing. Uh, good afternoon, my dear Ar Armenians. You know there is a war. We didn't start this war. We have never started any war, and we have never breached the ceasefire. And for a regular time, they started a cruel war with a huge um, weaponry. Turkey, Pakistan, uh, not only did they bring terrorists from Syria, they have also seen that uh, the have a lot of losses now in order to avoid uh, the picture of many losses they are bringing uh, mercenaries from afghanistan and when people stubbornly resist uh, their attacks they started taking revenge on towns and villages by shelling uh, the peaceful civilians, they uh, shelled the Holy Saviour Cathedral yesterday and when we had correspondence from Russia and there was a UAV flying and uh, hit exactly the middle of the cross and the correspondents were wounded and God uh, helped them recuperate. They, uh, they tried to insult us by hitting the cross. This is the handwriting of international terrorists, the terrorist president Erdogan who prepares terrorists and send uh, to another terrorist president, Ilham Aliyev, who hires them and send them to battle, battlefield. We are us, the God, and our army. Our army guys are heroes. I'm thankful to their parents for raising such powerful heroes for our homeland. They are, what they are doing is, uh, is heroism uh, during daily shelling. Yes, forces are unequal, but this does not mean that we will resource, resist. Our cause is fair. Each people, each country has a right of self-defense. This is our holy duty. We are a peaceful nation. We don't want anyone's death. Is it a fate, a trial? Any person is the way uh, he or she is capable of overcoming the trial. This is our assessment, and we are taking our test in front of history, in front of our God, and we will uh, overcome this trial. We have to have national unity, national prayers, powerful will, and uh, impregnable will. And when we uh, fight shoulder to shoulder, we will be able to resolve our cause. Let our all uh, deceased rest in peace. Let God bless our army, the people of Artsakh, uh, the people of Armenia, and the Republic of Artsakh, and bring us peace and victory, what I believe strongly and what I have all confidence in. We will have the ceasefire. If you have questions, you are most welcome. Naira Nalbandian from Radio Liberty. For many days, the peaceful civilians have been uh, targeted. And what, uh, what are our uh, conclusions when we are talking about the war. Shall we 
go to negotiations without any preconditions? If not, what are the preconditions uh, on the basis of which we can speak about negotiation? What happened to Shushi Cathedral yesterday? At the beginning of 90s, they targeted Gandhasar, they damaged it, also Amaras and uh, the Holy Savior Church in Gyulistan when some people uh, didn't manage to escape, they cut the heads of seven people and left it in the church and exploded the church. This is the typical handwriting of terrorists. They are destroying all cultural, religious masterpieces. This is comprehensible. We have never touched their mosques. Uh, we have restored the mosque in Shushi. So you can hear that they are shelling the city again. So far as negotiations are concerned, I think that this is uh, up to our political military leadership, how to go to negotiations and when to go to negotiations. It is their uh, competence. I cannot comment on this. This is a very serious political decision. Let me not enter this arena. Is it possible to restore the Shushi Cathedral? Of course we will res restore it. I have no doubt both Shushi and Stepanagir and our villages, all our infrastructures. You remember 70% of Stepanagir was destroyed. Shushi was completely destroyed in 90s. But we restored them. We beautified them. We will uh, re, uh, resurface as Phoenix. This is our homeland, and we don't doubt, uh, have any doubt in this regard. About the uh, monetary donations, yesterday I made a speech. I called on all Armenians to get united to support us largely in order for us to be able to donate money, to collect money, to be able to restore and also restore the sadness which we have after war. Do you remember when we were walking in Stepanakert after the first war, we were uh, saying that this was a ghost city, but we saw how beautiful it became in years, both Stepanakert and Shushi. I'm confident that the Armenians all, the world, all around the world will support us by all means. Any other questions? Any question? No questions? Thank you very much. Let God bless God bless all of you. Uh, all of you be safe and in faith, victory. I love you. I have trust in you. God bless you, us, our army, and our homeland. Good luck to all of us. Be strong.